Hi, I'm Representative Park Cannon from Atlanta, Georgia. As many people may know, the ability to choose your reproductive health options in the state of Georgia has been contested. We know that with House Bill 481 being struck down from a federal judge just a few days ago, the state of women's health in Georgia has a new light on it. What we know is that many lawmakers do respect personal decision making. They do not want political interference, and we know that it's not for us to judge what someone decides with their reproductive health. We are not about pushing people into poverty, and we believe in the importance of health for all. Unfortunately, some anti-abortion individuals are misrepresenting what care really looks like in the state of Georgia. We know that the ruling that has stopped House Bill 481 from going into effect on January 1st of 2020, while the case plays out, makes it so that we finally have an opportunity to actually discuss what is going on with maternal health in Georgia. What we know is that between 2012 and 2014, for pregnancy-related deaths in Georgia, they occurred only 18% during pregnancy and 82% after delivery. In 2014 to 2016, 11% of black mothers received late or no prenatal care. We know that Georgia has not expanded Medicaid under the Affordable Care Act, and that way 17% of women aged 19 to 64 are uninsured. Medicaid finances more than 50% of all births in the state of Georgia, but only 67% of OBGYNs in Georgia actually accept Medicaid. So what this means is that with the 1,300 physicians actively practicing obstetrician and gynecology in Georgia, only 282 of them are black. We must discuss what is going on with maternal health in Georgia, and we know that this injunction on House Bill 481 is just the beginning of a larger conversation. We call you in to this conversation at the Maternal Mortality Study Committee in the month of October, and we look forward to seeing you at the state capitol in January. Thank you for listening.